My name is Dr. Jamrik Muturi. I'm the CIS in charge of agriculture, livestock, fisheries, and uh, cooperatives in county. Agricultural activities, right from production to I mean, uh, processing, and uh, in linking with the uh, Department of Trade, we also do marketing. Most of the industries are food processing industries, mostly for maize, meal, that's the main one, and there is a, there is a bit of a mango processing. The main activities is crop production. The predominant crops are two main cash crops. We have coffee, we have tea, we have macadamia, which is uh, one of the emerging and strong economic activity. In fact, M County is the lead county in Kenya as far as macadamia production is concerned. Coffee production is very good, and uh, the, the county produces best quality phthalate of coffee, Arabica, and because of volcanic soils, the quality is very, very good. Also tea, uh, we do a lot. We have three main tea factories. These are processing plants, um, which are cooperative, that they are owned by farmers who have come together. And this is uh, Mongania, Kabangarire, and also Rokorire tea factories. We have a lot of avocado farming, but most of them they are bought and processed in other places. On the upper side, the lower side, we have a dairy animal and beef production, that's animal production, a bit of goat rearing, and uh, made a lot of chicken. We also have flower farming in the lower side of Embol. We have people doing uh, herbal uh, flower farming, and they are selling them to Europe and other countries. We have also the normal roses and other kind of flowers uh, which are taking place. And then the growing of maize and other food crops. COVID has really struck and catch activities. For example, for tea, which is supposed to be plucked after every seven days, the factory is management and to organize it in a manner that uh, they, they regionalized or partitioned the tea growing zone so that a certain village would pluck tea today so that there are few members in the tea buying centers to make sure that the social distance is maintained. The plucking duration is extended and there is loss of tea. Uh, then the market is a challenge because tea is taken for tea auction in, in Mombasa, so there's a lot of tea in the warehouses in, in Mombasa, which would definitely affect the, the earnings of, of the farmers. With the flowers, we have a case study where one of the farmers actually has lost a lot because for March they have not been able to export. They have been selling uh, around 20 tons per month, but now they have not even sold a ton from March to today, because the market in Europe has really gone down. In the agribusiness, um, both the, I mean, the macro and the, uh, and the micro enterprises, especially for macadamia, some of the factories from Thika that have been buying macadamia, when there was a lockdown, they could not be able to have people coming daily from Thika, buy and take macadamia stick and come back. And therefore some factories are suspended the purchasing of macadamias from Embo. And because of lack of competition, the price is prevented. So that you find the price of macadamia this year was between 50 and 70 shillings per kilo. Last year, a time like this, between March and June, it was 150 to 170. So you see the farmer is losing 100 shillings per kilo. The county has distributed quite a number of uh, hard washing tanks. We have partners like One Acre Fund, which give us um, tanks, and we, we have installed them in the ward agricultural offices. We also partner quite well with the national government. In fact, we were given uh, uh, we are given sanitizers, and we distributed them. Then we are also doing a lot of publicity on it. 
uh, we have encouraged our sub county and cultural officers and ward and cultural officers whenever they go for any meeting and interaction with the farmers then they also take them through uh, the need to to stay safe They are leveraging on the new platform of the e-commerce. So you realize there's a lot of uh, procurement of, uh, of raw materials and inputs. They are able to order online, they pay online, they only have the delivery. Advertisement through the Zoom, especially the very Zoom. I've seen the youth actually advertising what they have and inviting people to see what they are doing. There's a, there also a subgroup which is calling itself Men at Work in Embo. And they're actually advertising various farm products. They advertise if somebody, a farmer has a, has a dairy cow, they advertise and say, this, is, this cow is there in the farm and you can procure it. Uh, the price is uh, this amount of money negotiable. But those are some of the new norms that quite a number of uh, businesses are, are doing uh, to mitigate and also to capture the wider market. We have worked very closely with the Chamber of Commerce, trying to ensure that uh, we bring the stakeholders on board and explain to them the need to, for them to adopt the new norm and uh, adjust to the new norm. So that if, it's, uh, if there are the farmers who are supplying goods to hotels and supplying goods to, 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 to the factories and supplying goods to industries, we are advising them to ensure that they observe all the recommended WHO uh, protocols passed over to us by the Minister of Health uh, so, so that they meet the standards, so that they, when they go, they can be accepted uh, wherever the market is, even if it's local market or even outside Embu. For example, the truck drivers, um, we, we partnered with the Ministry of Health and uh, all of them were done assessments and they were given some letters to allow them to travel after and take goods out. We have a share and Kritiri and Kedemo where the market days for livestock. What we are trying to do with the Minister of Trade, the Fed officers go there to ensure that when the animals come, the people are selling their distance apart so that the, the buyer is maintains that social distance and the seller. And we are also encouraging them really to transact using soft money as much as possible. So there is minimum interaction of the fiscal hand cash. A farmer or a cooperative and, and secure and alone to repay at a certain duration, then uh, the advice from Central Bank and we're also encouraging the farmers to do that, is for the one with the loan to go to the bank and renegotiate the repayment payment so that is extended. That will cushion the farmer against sale of his property because of the failure uh, the inventory to, uh, I mean, to repay the loan. In collaboration with the Ministry of Trade, we are consulting uh, people like the Chamber of Commerce. We are also consulting the Kenya Industrial Estate because they are funding for loans. Uh, for startup businesses and also for business that seems to be now mark timing because of the COVID effect so that they can also give them a special consideration especially those that are that are doing well and now they, they they have been affected by the COVID effect then they can also consider them and give them first priority in terms of their loan uh, investment and also possibly give them a grace period so that they can be able to really catch up with the chamber we were organizing a business forum to, to, to bring together all the um, I mean, uh, micro business enterprises together, this agricultural and others, Devon Train, so that we can uh, now take them through, actually to teach them on adoption of new business models in line with the current and the future challenges and foreseen situations in business. Uh, so that they, they, they can fit in the matrix of the business arena.